Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Brayden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, for today's bullet points, we are going to watch a Democratic gun control gun violence press conference, but not for the boring litmus reasons that we normally would. This one got a little spicy because in St. Louis, they were literally, the mayor was doing a gun violence prevention press conference, and gunshots rang out. Not one, not two, not three, but four, at least from my count. This is incredible because if you guys remember, Missouri was a hot point on, on this channel probably back April, May, when they passed HB 85. Now, I'm not going to go too into the details, but basically HB 85 prohibited any Missouri law enforcement officer to help federal gun control. This was back when everyone was scared that the Democrats and Biden could actually do something. Just saying. This was in HR 8 and HR 1446. This is when they were in, they were basically going through the process, right? Before it got stalled and Chuck Schumer didn't even bring it up for a vote. Anyway, check this out. I've got it linked in the description box below. And I want to show you this because this is incredible. One, that it happened on live camera. Two, that they actually let it come out on CNN. And three, listen to the spin and look at what CNN did to take the bait and say, oh, that's a good line. Let's take that. Check this out. I want you guys, I want to hear you guys on this one because this is gold right here. Anytime that we have uh, gun violence in our community, um, I, I am very uh, shocked and, and, and feel sorry for the victims that are involved. Um, but what I did hear today um, from Brother L and, and Cure Violence is that... Oh, isn't that wonderful? All right, so the things I want to bring up to you first, that was the actual incident. She got shocked, all right. But you notice what she said? she said? Every time I hear about gun violence, I'm shocked. Well, then it happens. She says, well, isn't that wonderful? Because it's in the middle of her press conference on gun violence prevention. Listen to how she spins it. The cameras go off. They reset. Listen to this. If this is not the best spin I've ever heard, check this out. And CNN said, ooh, that's handy. We're going to hit that in a second. Ignore the gunshots. What, or anything, do you feel safe standing here right now? Well, I hear gunshots in my right. neighborhood every night. My son and I fall asleep to the lullaby of gunshots in the distance every night because I'm the first mayor in over 20 years to be born, raised, and still live in North St. Louis. Uh, so we live in a, in a neighborhood that, you know, we hear it more often than not. And, and it's unfortunate, you know, yes, I heard it, but I didn't flinch. Oh, you didn't flinch. Well, keep in mind, Missouri was the place. St. Louis are the ones that actually sued the state of Missouri for coming out and saying that they could not do HB 85. Missouri, Democrat-led city. They were saying, no, there's no need. We need to abide by federal gun legislation should it come down. And then in a press conference, these gunshots ring out. And instead of talking about the substance, instead of talking about gun control, instead of talking about crime, defunding the police, all the things that are happening in cities like this, she went to, well, I didn't flinch. Okay, that's an interesting take. I, thought, I, didn't, know what we were, I didn't know what you were talking about, your response to gun violence. But look what CNN did on their title of the video. Mayor doesn't flinch when gun shops interrupt her answer. Interestingly enough, her answer was about gun violence and gun violence prevention in a city that is not preventing gun violence. And that is the irony of this. And it's a beautiful irony. It is terrible that this is happening in cities and it's being allowed to happen, honestly. But look at the irony of this. CNN is having to take this and she straight up politics it and says, but I didn't flinch. You can tell she was clearly uncomfortable. She was clearly not happy. But to her credit, she did do a good spin job there. And that's why I wanted to bring this to you because CNN took it and they made the headline, the byline, not about Missouri or excuse me, St. Louis is a crime ridden place. Not about gunshots are ringing out. The cops aren't doing anything. Not about defunding the police. Not about any of the initiatives that are directly related to the incidents occurring there. It was about, well, the mayor heard gunshots in a press conference and she didn't flinch. And then she made it about her own little story about, well, I live in the, I live in this certain area, and so I'm used to it. It's a lullaby of gunshots. And that's what I've got for you guys tonight. Look at what they are. See them for what they are. Spread this out, and this is a blatant example of how their gun control policies do not work. They will not be able to keep anybody safe, and it's up to us to embrace the Second Amendment and pass it along to the next generation. Until, to, until tonight at the 9 p.m. segment, I have got a banger for you guys. I'll see you then.